Did you know that potatoes are actually pretty awesome for weight loss? It's weird that not many people talk about it, but seriously, there are three big reasons why they can help you drop some weight. First, they have good macros. 100 grams of potatoes have only 77 calories and also 2 grams of fiber. So if you eat one big potato as a side, that's only 200 calories and about 5 grams of fiber. The second reason is they taste great and are very versatile. You can make air fried fries, mashed potatoes, or even just boiled in salted water, all of the three are equally easy easy and made in about 15 minutes. The third reason is in my opinion the most important. Potatoes belong to the most satiating foods that exist. It's even more satiating than protein heavy foods like chicken breast, eggs or lean beef. In fact, boiled potatoes are number one in the satiety index compared to every other food. For example, it is two times more satiating than baked beans. So for these three reasons alone, I believe they belong on every diet plan. The only downside in my opinion is that they can taste a bit bland and boring, so here's a recipe that turns them into a delicious meal. I always try to shoot for about 250 to 300 grams of potato as a side per meal. Also, I don't peel my potatoes anymore when I'm boiling them. Even though it is a myth that most of the nutrients are in the skin, there is still half of the fiber stored and also why wasting food for absolutely no reason. I will just clean them in my sink with fresh water for about 30 seconds with a brush and then I will cut them into bite-sized cubes and then add them into a pot filled with water and a strong pinch of salt. Don't skip the salt though, it will add a lot more flavor. Now let them simmer on medium heat for about 12 to 15 minutes until they turn soft. In the meantime, I will prepare 250 grams of cleaned mushrooms. Mushrooms are very low in calories and also quite high in protein. It's a great way to add volume to your meals. I will slice them into bite-sized pieces and don't worry if this seems like a lot for one person. Mushrooms contain a lot of air pockets, which is the reason they will shrink down a lot. I will also prepare three cloves of garlic. I will peel them and use my garlic press later on, but you can also already mince them with a microplane. Next is the sauce and this is very simple. I will add into a glass 150 grams of water and then add in chicken stock powder. You can also use better than bouillon. I have always one of these in my pantries to add extra flavor. Eight grams so two teaspoons will go in. Next is two grams of cornstarch that will help thicken up the sauce. I won't add any salt to this because stock powder are already quite salty in general. Mix everything and set the sauce aside. Next is the protein sauce and I will prepare one skinless chicken breast. This is quite a big one that weighs 200 grams. I will cut it into strips about a centimeter thick or so and now let's get cooking. But before that, don't forget to check out my cookbook. Low calorie, high protein recipes that will help you lose weight and keep it off for the rest of your life. Over 150 recipes are already in this book. From breakfast to dinner to dessert, everything you need is in there. And the best is that I will constantly keep updating the book with new recipes and you will get every future update for free once you've purchased the book. See it as a lifetime investment into your health, link is in the description. So I will heat up a pan to medium high heat, spray in some oil and then add in my sliced chicken breast. I will spread the chicken with my spatula so as much meat as possible gets in contact with the pan for maximum browning and let it sit there for about a minute. I'm just waiting for color here not to cook the chicken through yet. As soon as the chicken is nicely browned, I will flip everything and fry the other side for another minute or so as well and then remove the chicken from the pan. Remember that meat is still cooking even if it's not in the pan anymore. That is why I never cook it fully through before removing it or it will be dry later on. Next, I will add the mushrooms into the pan on medium heat with a splash of water. As I said earlier, mushrooms contain a lot of air pockets. If you add oil into the pan from the beginning, the mushrooms will immediately soak it and the pan will become dry again. That's why I let them cook in the the pan for about four to five minutes until they fully collapsed before I add oil. The water is only there so they don't burn in the first couple of seconds. As you can see, five minutes later they shrank down quite a bit, so now I will add some oil and keep frying to develop browning for extra flavor about two to three minutes. Then I will push the mushrooms aside, add another bit of oil and then add the garlic with my garlic press. Keep frying for another 20 seconds before adding the sauce and wait until it starts to simmer. You will see that it will immediately start thickening, that is because of the cornstarch. Now, normally the next step for a creamy garlic chicken is heavy cream. That is what gives this meal this rich and sweet flavor, but also adds a ton of calories. To mimic this without adding all the extra calories, I will use laughing cow. This is a soft cream cheese that is usually used as a spread, but can also be added into sauces. Every cheese wedge adds about 40 calories. So 
I will add in one and now mix it into the sauce by pressing it down with my spatula and about a minute later the sauce is thick and creamy. I will give it a taste test now to check the seasoning and let it sit here in very low heat. At this stage the potatoes should be ready as well, just poke them with a knife and if the potatoes are completely soft they are ready. This took about 14 minutes. Now I will prepare a plate where I will add in my potatoes and then I will just smash them with a fork. You don't need any tools like a potato ricer or a mixer for this, if they are soft enough just use a fork or a spatula, it will work perfectly fine. Next is 50 grams of skinned milk, keep mixing and this will already make it a lot creamier and smooth. Lastly I will again add a laughing cow wedge and then a ton of black pepper. Seasoning wise you can experiment here with garlic powder, cayenne pepper or smoked paprika, I personally like it with pepper only. Keep mixing and give it a taste test, this needed a bit more pepper and all that is left now to do is to add the chicken back into the pan just for 20 to 30 seconds so it gets back to heat and then we can plate. So add some mashed potatoes as a base, then add the creamy garlic chicken and top everything with fresh greens, I use parsley. There you go. The entire recipe comes in with 661 calories, 69 grams of carbs, 18 grams of fat and 63 grams of protein. Don't forget that to check my cookbook in the description. If you like this recipe you should absolutely try out my healthy noodle bowl, so click on this video and see you there.